So, here we are today. So, those of you who don't know, it's basically my birthday, and I'm here with my good friend Scott, so we're celebrating. So I looked up the best seafood here in North Vancouver, and we end up here, so I'm super, super, super excited. We not only have a whole bunch of oysters, we have a delicious looking ocean club, we have everything, we got beef, I got seared scallops, we got seared tuna, we got halibut, we got uh, chicken karage, we have poke, we have things that look like cigars, we have a fish and chips which is a dark color. So I'm actually going to grab the chef, his name is Peter. I'm going to get him to walk us through all of this because I don't even know where to start. So he'll walk us through this and then we'll get started here. And we're lucky enough to have the Chef Peter to kind of walk us through this delicious spread we have here. So Mr. Peter, take her away. So we got the uh, Evening Cold Oyster from the uh, Denman Island, nice. which is uh, west of the Anaimo. So we got the uh, Ugogi marinated um, Red Lake Wagyu Flank Steak with the uh, shoestring rice. Ooh, smells good. We got the uh, Ocean's Club sandwich with the uh, double smoked bacon, lobster and prawn and shrimp salad. Okay. With the uh, steelhead salmon as well. Ooh, so is that local? Yes, that is from uh, West Coast west coast of the uh, BC as well. Alright. Yeah, and then moving on to this year, we got the uh, tuna poke cigar, so it's a little twist on the uh, different version of it. So we want to give the uh, visual and appeal of the actual cigar. Look at it, it literally looks like a cigar. Awesome. That's amazing, I can't yeah. wait to try it. And moving on to the next dish, we got the uh, activated charcoal and a nori batter fish and chip. So it's something that uh, is, I think it's very unique. Look at it. The, uh, different... It's black. But I know it's gonna be delicious. I look forward to that. Yeah, the activated charcoal giving it a really distinct color. What a unique spin on the fish and chips. Um, so I wanted to play uh, something a little different. Um, not only the texture, but also the uh, there's hint of um, black garlic powder that's in there. Nice. So that's something a little bit different than the usual uh, beer batter fish and chip that you can find. Ooh, I like it. Moving on to the dish that's right here, we got the uh, Japanese style uh, chicken karage with the uh, miso mopiaki. So it is uh, torched to the top to give a little bit of the, uh, the smoky natural uh, scent to it. I can smell it. Yeah. Moving on to the dish that's very end there, we got a spicy uh, tuna bite on a nori tempura. So we make the nori tempura and then we dry it out over six hours to give an extra crunchy texture. Nice. Underneath is the edible nori sand. So there's a lot of uh, different flavors and the texture that's going to be going on. Did you say sand? Yes. Wow. Okay. I like it. Yeah. And then next we have the uh, chorizo and the ancient grain uh, rice pilaf with the uh, grilled ahi tuna, that's the charred lime. I love some tuna. Looks perfectly seared. We've got the uh, seared uh, sous vide pork belly. Woo! So pork belly has been sous vide over for 12 hours in the uh, Korean bulgogi marinade as well. And then we got the seared scallop with a smoked trout caviar, spruce dipper blanc, and then as you can see, the shell is edible. A lot of people don't want to notice that, but Yes. What's the show made out of? It's made out of filo. Okay, I look like yeah. forward to it. Awesome, and then we got the uh, local uh, in-season um, pan-seared halibut with the uh, kabayaki butter and uh, torch the um, broccolini, and then we got a uh, prawn cake. That go with it. just looks fantastic. So really cool that the chef's going to take his time to walk us through here. I look so forward to having this meal. It looks absolutely delicious. So, Mr. Peter, thank you so much. Thank I appreciate so much. it. I'll yeah. let you get back to work there, but uh, hey. What a better way to hear it from the, from the chef. So thank you for giving us that here today. Excellent, please enjoy. Basically, now let's get started. Scott, want to start with some oysters? Yeah, heck yeah. So it's people are delicious. people are always like, Joel, eat seafood, eat oysters. So we're doing this today. So we have a big pile of oysters. We've got two freaking levels of these delicious looking things. Uh, see mini and ant. We got some cocktail sauce. We got some horseradish, some lemons. I love lemons on my oysters. So these are all a West Coast oyster, as you heard. Mr. Chef Peter said. So uh, help yourself, Scott. All Let's right. get going here. I'm not sure, how sure everybody likes their oysters, but I'm a lemon. I like a, ooh, I like a hot sauce too. I'll have to get a hot sauce at some point. How do you like your oyster, dude? Uh, actually, I typically don't have oysters. When I have had them before, I've just had a bit of lemon on them. Yeah. Uh, so well, simple, but you know. I'm gonna try it. So we've got our first oyster here. Cheers, Cheers my friend. Oh boy. Okay. Wow. Fresh. I definitely got a, it's a nice meaty texture on that oyster, mm -hmm. which I do generally find with those kind of Pacific oysters, the West Coast oysters, it's a little bit meatier, but delicious. Fresh. Perfect amount of salt in there too. Yeah. That, yeah. It's not an overly briny oyster. Yes. I'm going to try it with some of this horseradish. I'm a big horseradish person. This is fresh horseradish here. 
Top shot, of course. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Try some. What a meaty, it's a meaty texture oyster. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I find the East Coast order oysters never have so much mouthfeel. It's almost like a richness. Yeah. You get that? I do, yeah. That's phenomenal. I like it a lot. I'll try some of this mignonette. Help yourself. Mignonette, what is that? So it's just oh. like a, a wine or like a vinegar style sauce. Um, sometimes they put Different chalets in there. Mmm. Okay. Definitely a bit of like a red wine there. Man, I can't get over how mm. how meaty and rich these oysters are. It's fantastic. It is. Yeah, that's good. I, I like that. Try some of this cocktail sauce, of course. Everything, of course, is being made here. Delicious. Not like a summery type feel. Mm. It very much is the we're gonna sit out on the patio. Or sit in a beautiful restaurant like this and have a few on a bright drinks sun, on a bright sunny day. You like know? today, yeah. This is the perfect summer day. Beautiful location here, right by the water as well. It's like you can oversee the downtown Vancouver. Yet yeah, it's like happening, but at a little slower pace. It's, yeah. it's perfect. I just can't get over how meaty texture of those oysters are, again, normally compared to the Atlantic oysters, which I'm more familiar with. And like Scott was saying, not an overly briny oyster at no. all. Like, very... I've had, yeah, the times that I've had them before, they've been a little, little overly briny, like you say, but these are... These are perfection. These are, yeah, literally. This is like, if you've never had an oyster before, this is the oyster I wish you get to try. Because that is, like, perfect. Full, full disclosure, we're taking advantage of the bucket chuck. So, happy hour, come on in, dollar an oyster, which is well worth it, because those are dang delicious. And every other time I buy oysters, actually, I went for oysters at New Year's, I paid $50. Literally, I paid $50 for maybe it was like 12, maybe, maybe 18. So this is a much, much better deal. We have more, might as well run through those delicious oysters. What a great way to start off with the aisle, actually. Oh, yeah. Don't let me take that out of your way. Oh, thanks, my friend. Yeah, you guys enjoying the West Coast Swiss this year, round two? Damn, they're very yeah. delicious. They're actually really good. I'm, I'm very impressed. Um, would you guys do you have some, like, hot sauce? Yeah, uh, just some uh, meat Tabasco's. That would be so cool. bring a couple over for you? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Done. Thanks so much. Another one? I, I, you know, I really like, like, they're just so, I, again, I don't know how to, like, I don't know how to better differentiate it, but they're just meaty. Hot oh, sauce that's great. I'll give you one each, gents. Thank you, sir. I appreciate uh, that. There you go. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Thank you. But it's just such, again, like, it's, I call it a really good base oyster. Like, it's a good, the oyster takes flavor as well because it's not having, again, any very, very, very strongly overpowered distinct flavor. So whether we're doing the lemon mm -hmm. or any of the mignonettes, the cocktail sauces, it's all very complimentary. Delicious hot sauce. Spice things up a little bit. And getting old, so <laughs> gotta keep things exciting. You are. That cocktail sauce they have going here is absolutely delicious. Uh, like I said, you can tell they make it here. Get such nice levels of sweetness, horseradish. Very, very, very balanced. And for all y'all, look at those delicious oysters we're having today. Again, oyster is something people have very, very much requested. So Joel, eat oysters, etc., etc. And here I am. Also eating them with some really good company, so thanks for coming with me today, Scott. Yeah, absolutely. It's been uh 
been a great little trip that we've had. Been a great trip. And good way to celebrate. Absolutely. What better way to celebrate your birthday than with absolutely delicious, delicious fine cuisine? You know, fresh seafood. Mm -hmm. Big fan of this cocktail sauce right here. Horseradish is great as well. Load this one up. Get a little bit of spice mm -hmm. on. Ooh. Last one. I'll have it. Yeah, of course. Of course. I'm the birthday boy. <laughs> Major. All right, well, we just had a beautiful starter. Great way to start this meal. You know what, let's, uh, I'm so intrigued by this black fish and chips. <laughs> let's I give like, it a go. I like it, yeah. All right, help yourself, my friend. Thank you very much. So, like they were saying, so fish and chips, which is, you know, very standard, but they have an activated charcoal in the batter to give it this unique dark tinge. So, I am more than curious to try this out, but I know it's going to be good. Those oysters are delicious. So, I'm going to try it first just plain, and then I have some delicious tartar sauce, and some ketchup. I love ketchup. So, cheers. cheers. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Alright. It's not burnt at all. <laughs> That's the joke. Yeah. I guess they said like, there's been once or twice, somebody's like, oh my gosh, my fish is burnt. They're like, no, no, try it. <laughs> and holy jump, I just almost swore that. All right, super delicious meaty fish in there. Mmm. It's juicy, it's moist. And it's just such a nice, like, it's a nice texture for the batter. It's, yeah, it's, it's crunchy. It's soft. It has a beautiful flavor to it. Nice amount of salt. Really accenting that fish. That's gorgeous. I'm, I'm actually super impressed. All right, I'm gonna try this tartar sauce. Again, yeah, house made. I like tartar sauce. Mm. Oh my god. Fantastic. Dude, that tartar sauce is fire. Mm -hmm. Of course, I've tried the ketchup. I love ketchup. <laughs> Dude, this is delicious. Mm -hmm. I actually might get. Well, I, I'm, I think it's we might have another one. All right, now I got tried the pear, tartar sauce, and ketchup. Tender as well. Mm. Dude, that is by far one of the best fish and chips I had in probably forever. Yeah. And definitely the most interesting and memorable <laughs> of the coloration. Man, that's harder sauce though. That is fire. Yeah. And you said it was homemade, so that you can tell that it's in-house made. Dude, just the flavors on it. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Gotta try some of these french fries. Fish and chips, come on. Nice crispy potato. Mm -hmm. Exactly what you'd expect from a tasty crispy french fry. That's a good one. It's even got a unique type of texture on the outside of it. It's not. Uh, it's, it's like it's very it's crispy. Crispy and it's got layers to the actual uh, outside there. So you guys can see that or not, but a crispy, dynamic French fry. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Who would have thought? Who would have thought a French fry would be so dynamic? But that fish, though, holy jumbo. All right, here we got coleslaw. I'm just gonna eat it all. Sorry, Scott. What am I going to do? Fish and chips? What's the verdict, Tex? 
It's delicious. Oh, yeah. yeah. I really uh, like it. And it wasn't very Joel, small, right? No. <laughs> Joel was thinking of having some more for this. I might have to get another one. Yeah. We can easily do that for yeah. you. Let us know. Shout out to the staff here. Super pleasant to come in. Especially with all my ridiculous requests to fill a table. When are those bowl of green M&Ms coming out anyways? Yeah, that, that's the next request. <laughs> Actually, the coleslaw, it's very creamy. It has a really nice kind of also yogurty aspect to it. And no complaints. Like, if that was on a sandwich, like, delicious. And it really goes well accenting that fish and chips because you have that like little bit of that saltiness, almost that uh, acidity from some of the tartar sauces. Coleslaw, absolutely delicious. All right, birthday boy. I don't, I don't even know where to start. I know. Let's uh, let's go with the let's go with the halibut. Okay. This is supposed to be one of their top dishes. This and the seared scallops, and I'm 100% sure it will be. So I don't. I'm just gonna. You know, just we're just giving it a bite. I think, it's a, I think it's a prawn cake. Really nice flavors. You can tell you get a little like a, a grilled aspect to it. Nori, some seaweed. Put this halibut in half. There you go, Mr. Scott. Thank you, sir. Like I said, everybody says, Joel, you need to share. Here I am sharing, so. On his birthday, too. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. With that butter, yeah, the, oh my gosh, the those rich sauces. Holy jumpers. Oh my gosh. Mm. It's almost like, uh, I'm getting like notes of almost like caramel. But like, oh man. Isn't that fish? They're saying this is a local fish right now, it's in season. Damn. It is just dripping, it's dripping. <laughs> yeah. and it is damn good. Mm. Buttery, tender. It's buttery, it's soft, it's flaky. Those flavors are exceptional. Man. It has this really nice, like, kind of sweet accent to it. Yeah, it's really nice and rich. Providing great mouthfeel. Got some broccolini. Beautifully, beautifully, beautifully cooked and presented. I think this is the nori Sandy's talking about. Great flavor, great texture. I don't want that to end. I just feel phenomenal. We totally recommend it. That was delicious. We got the Wagyu flank. So I love beef. Uh, I think I'm just kind of go hands for this one. I think it's appropriate. Come on in here, Scott. All right. Cheering is caring. Delicious fries, delicious soft on top, sauce on top. You just basically wrap it up. Look at that. One thing I love about Wagyu, generally very well marbled quality meat. Flank is a really interesting cut to choose for this. So cheers, my brother. It's like a bulgogi marinade in there, kind of that Korean style. This little shoestring fries as well to add a nice crunch and texture. Mm. Got sauce. Phenomenal. Let's go with this delicious spicy tuna bite. We got the uh, kind of the nori underneath, spicy tuna on top. Almost like a, almost like a sushi in a way. Yeah. Like a beautiful, delicious looking bite. Look at that. You can even see the sauces right on there, driplets of sauce. Yeah, dynamic. Very nice. Mm. Like you said, they definitely, they definitely, like you say, dry that give a really extra texture, that crunch. Mm. Tune is perfect. Just a nice amount of heat, giving it a lot of flavor. It's light, it's got a crispy. Great way to awaken the palate. Mm -hmm. Love it when it's, see if it has a little bit of acidity to it. It just balances everything so perfectly. 
That was, I think, a chin is an appetizer, but I think a mid meal course is also very suiting. One of our other favorite, most popular dishes here seared scallops in an edible shell with pork belly, which is sous vide. Basically, damn delicious. Caviar, right here as well. My brother, here, hop it in there, grab that scallop. Right. Thank you very much. I love scallops, I love seared scallops. This thing is perfect and beautifully done. Cheers, cheers. Oh. Mm. oh, dude, that is fire. Mm. The caviar in there giving that really, really rich, um, kind of fishy, dynamic flavor. The scallop was perfectly cooked, perfectly seared. Try some of this pork belly, which is very soft, very tender. It has some of the shell here. It's actually edible yeah. itself, so. Gotta try it. The pork belly is very nice. It's a nice bit of texture, a nice richness to the scallop, which is very lighter. Try it there, my friend. Sure. Great flavor. Some green, some seaweed down there. Very nicely complimenting that dish. How's the shell? It's good. It's a filo, was it a filo case? Yeah. Yeah. The guy's eating a shell. <laughs> says not usually people. Great flavors on there. From that scallop. That nori sand is delicious. Great presentation too. Here we got the beautiful Ai tuna, seared, looks delicious. I love tuna. This is definitely the way to do it. You gotta have it kind of like a medium rare, borderline rare. Just flavors, smells perfect, tell it's grilled. Oh, man. It's just so soft, it's supple. The inner part is like the inside is almost like buttery. It just kind of melts. Definitely got a different layers of texture with the soft on the outside and a little bit uh, more. Uh, the sear on the outside. Sear on the outside. Yes, yeah, so that tuna, absolutely exceptional. I really, this was on the chorizo and the ancient grains, which I'm going to try right now. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, dude. It's beautifully rich. You're getting those nutty aspects from those ancient grains. Dude, that is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Because the Ai tuna, the grilled tuna, you wouldn't classify it as like a very heavy fish. It's a very nice light fish with great meaty textures. Then when you throw in this ancient grain and chorizo, mm, that mouthfeel, it's savory, it's rich. I like that a lot. Beautifully done. It just pairs oh so well with that tuna. This is legit a side dish that I order like by itself. It's that good. I'm gonna start on this club. Delicious looking ocean club. We got shrimp. We got lobster. We got some salmon there. Just look at that. That is a beautiful looking sandwich. People love lobster. I like lobster. I like all seafood. Oh, is it? Oh man, that tells me to be good. Got some lovely looking bacon on there. Some green, some arugula. Mmm. Mmm. Hot damn. That bacon, that pork on there. It was so that seafood. Damn that mix. Got a nice like kind of mayonnaise or aioli on there. Mm. Two. Salmon, the smokiness, oh. It's a good sized portion too. Look at look how much there is in there. That is flavor packed in there. I can't talk, I'm broken. Oh. Gents, there you go, has requested some more fish for dessert here. Ooh, holy uh, cow. Fillets of our wow. signature fish and chips. That's, 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 
Right. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. I heard this earlier. Be like, you want to order? I might order more fish. Here they just brought us like maybe four pieces of fish. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. <laughs> I did love this stuff. Damn right. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. But this man, this club. Like you're saying, dude, just full of flavor. Mm -hmm. Delicious club. I would totally recommend. That was absolutely beautiful. Present my beautiful black fish chips to you guys, which is so, so delicious. Um, I'll try this salad. This looks absolutely delicious. I see some candy pecans on there. Got some double lovely fruits. Got some baby tomatoes. Church tomatoes. Oh, wow. That is fresh. Sweet. Dude, you can't describe that. I'm trying to describe it, I can't. It's so dynamic, there's so many nuts in there, the sweetness, savory. I, I can't I can't describe it. I usually have descriptors. Get the bite with the nuts, the tomatoes. It's sweet, it's savory, it's salty. It's kind of like maple leaf. It's soft, crunchy, fresh. <laughs> Just yeah. Every word, every descriptor I could throw out there would describe <laughs> that salad. I could summarize it in one word. Delicious. Or perfect. Both work. Scott's working on that. Try some of this chicken karage. Classic rendition. For some delicious chicken. Oh yeah. So just in case you needed a little more chips with your fish. Hey, there we go. Hey, there for you. Appreciate it. Now hook us up here. There you go. Our pleasure, guys. It's the only thing we have to talk, talk about later is dessert. So <laughs> amazing. Super creamy, kind of mayo, kind of base dressing, aioli. Crunchy karaga, a Japanese style. I see some like there's some jalapenos on there. You get a bit of that uh, spice from the jalapenos, from the, uh, you get a little barbecue type yeah. uh, char on there. Kind of a smoky texture. Mm. Mm. More tender on the inside, a little crispy on the out. Mm. Very well cooked, yeah. very soft. And just that, that sauce, super buttery, super savory. Joel's been looking at the scenery outside. Oh, by the way, there's some great freaking scenery here around. <laughs> the mountains, the peaks, the valleys, the boulders I'm seeing around. Vancouver. Perfect. Per right now I have some great scenery. So Now, let's have this tuna poke cigar, and we'll go back to my delicious fish and chips. So yeah, look at this, we got some charcoal ash. Literally looks like a freaking like cigar. Like they got the end, the nib, Everything that's so cool. So yeah, we got I know we got some toasted almond here, uh, some tuna. Dude, this is what a freaking cool like. Great idea. What a co cool concept. I don't I don't support tobacco or any no. kind of anything like that, but I, I like it. I've never smoked before. Ever. That's a good thing. So yeah. Cheers. Cheers to your tuna cigar. To my very first okay, cigar. Okay, tuna. Yeah, this is dope. Oh yeah, it's like a delicious kind of poke. Mm -hmm. Like a, it's a, it's like a sushi roll. Got some rice in there. I mm. love my sushi. Mm. Do that tuna, that toast almond. That's what I know. <laughs> Hilarious. Mm -hmm. I really like. <laughs> this is a cigar I could stand by. That should be a thumbnail. <laughs> Because it's made of delicious tuna. Mm, yeah, it's got a sauce here too. Got that, car that charcoal, that carbon on the end. Mm. Mm. That's so cool. Honestly, very, very innovative. Love that presentation on that. What a nice, light, unique dish. Like, that's picturesque. Yes, absolutely. If we weren't doing a video, I would have stopped with a took a picture of one of my cigars. All right. Some more of those delicious fish and chips. 
again, the lovely black fish and chips. I love it. Got some tartar sauce, some lemon, got some ketchup. Oh. Oh. Woo. See the steam coming off of that one. That's going to be a nice. Woo. It's fresh, it's perfect. Man, that was great. And this tartar sauce, though. So what do we have for dessert today, my friend? Oh, I'm just going to check with Chef. Yeah. yeah. That was good. Perfect. Dude, this place is freaking awesome. It's almost like we don't need this thing. Almost. Every bite of this is still just as delicious as it was. All right, so you know that time. It's dessert time. So Mr. Peter is lovely and nice enough to check and bring out some stuff for us here. So what do we have here, my friend? So we got the uh, mango sorbet. Mango sorbet. And a black currant sorbet. Black currant sorbet. Meringue cookies. Meringue cookies, so the little white things. Yeah, and then we got the uh, devil's chocolate cake with the white and dark chocolate mousse. Oh yeah, look at that, it's delicious. And then we got a chocolate cake pot with the raspberry uh, jelly inside to finish. Beautiful, some candy pecans on top. Yep. Yeah. Hell right. Okay, I'm in, I'm for it. Do you guys have candles? You guys got candles? Candles. Uh, I don't need nah, it. We're just kidding. Nah. We're just kidding. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Scott. Thank take you, your sir. take your weapon. Weapons of mass destruction right here. And uh, yeah, this looks delicious. So I'll start maybe with the. I'll work with this. Try, try the sorbet first. Okay. Maybe. We'll try the try the, let's try the mango sorbet first. Delicious looking mango sorbet made in house. We got some uh, some delicious crumbs of some delicious chocolatey. Boy, mm, damn! Mm. It's just melts in your mouth. It is definitely like a real mango flavor. You can tell there's real fruit in that. So smooth. Mm. The texture behind it is ooh. the perfect consistency. The perfect temperature. More beautiful scenery. That is perfect. That is, that is, that is at a loss for words. That is delicious. <laughs> I like that a lot. Again, perfect temperature too. Try these little meringue cookies. Mm. Exactly what you'd expect. Cook perfectly as it still it has uh, still the, like softness on the inside. Beautiful texture on the outside. I love it. I can eat a lot of those. Black currant sorbet. Give her a go here. So those aren't familiar. Black currants, kind of a, a deeper, darker fruit, kind of berry-looking thing. It is fruity. It is sweet, but it's also kind of floral. I was just gonna say that floral. Yeah. It's got the floral flavor in there. Yeah, really nice floral notes. Just very fresh. This would be a beautiful like. Way to uh, awaken your palate. That's that's that's, that's <laughs> good. I know, right? I don't know how else to put it. Like, it's just fresh. It has that really like that. Mm. That's 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 it. It's fresh. It's floral. It's fruity. Very summery, you know? Yeah. Right? Like, ah, it's out sunny outside, and you're just like, damn, that's good. All right, cake pop. Okay. I'll try to. Yeah, Pass just, this. Right. Let's see how this works. Oh, there you go. That works. There. Nice and soft, delicious. I believe said there's a red raspberry jelly or filling in this. Mm. Oh yeah, look at that. Deep, dark, decadent chocolate. Chocolate coated. Oh, it smells like. Oh, it smells like chocolate. Oh yeah. Mmm. A raspberry in there. Decadent. Deep, rich, and decadent. <clears throat> that is beautiful. That two little raspberries there. Mm -hmm. Kind of accent, a garnish. Mm. And there's, oh. Do you feel like chocolates and raspberries? I do. Perfect. Mm. All right, now we have this cake. This cake looks impressive. It looks rich and dense. I remember these candied pecans were absolutely excellent from that salad. It's also got multiple layers in there. I don't know if uh, you guys can see the multiple layers. Hell right. Well, let's take her down there, buddy. 
Gee, that is delicious. That chocolate. You can taste like the different layers, like so you taste the chocolate cake, then you can taste the chocolate, the white and uh, kind of melty or chocolate fillings. Mm. Definitely get that white chocolate taste in there. Mm. That nice white kind of creamy, extra creamy bit. I don't know if to say anything. That was damn good. Dude, spit spots. That sorbet, that chocolate. Damn. I don't, I don't know, I, I'm speechless. Anyway, this is absolutely, absolutely, absolutely delicious. Dude, I am so glad we came here. Google did not do us wrong. Absolutely delectable seafood here at Super Provisions. Uh, really nice staff, super catering. It's such a cool location too. Right on the waterfront. It's a happening spot. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Definitely. Scott, what was your favorite thing today, my man? Uh, I really like the oysters uh, as well as the sandwich. Um, that was the, the Ocean Club. Ocean Club, yeah, that was. Those two were my favorite. I like the oysters, the the uh, different uh, dress, the sauces you got to put on them. Uh, gives you unique flavors in each bite, and they were delicious. And like I said, I haven't had the oysters in a long time, so. As long as Scott keeps talking, I can keep eating. That's so, right. um, <laughs> He's training me. He's training me. Delicious. No, <laughs> I agree with you. The oyster is probably like some of the most kind of meatiest, texturous oyster I have. Like soft, soft texture. It's not overly briny. Delicious, delicious oyster. Definitely would recommend. Uh, the, sea, the, the Ocean Club you mentioned? Yeah. Dude, I love that. Every single bite was just fresh flavor. The perfect lunch. Like the perfect, perfect, perfect lunch or light dinner. Um, man, that halibut was bomb. Holy cow, that was bomb. You know, if you want kind of a more traditional classic, that fish and chips. That's what I was going for. Yeah, the fish and chips for sure. Was fire. Yeah. So good. And it's so, it's very unique. Like it's, it's a dark black colored fish and chips. So, you know, it, it's kind of a unique item. You could like surprise somebody with it, but it is damn tasty. Man, you know, the scallops are great. The tuna, that tuna, the, dude, that chorizo, the ancient grains of that tuna, all together was such an excellent bite. I really like that poke cigar, um, frickin' the wagyu, like the flank. I could go on, but anyway, you get the picture. There's enough food's gone. So that everybody, thank you so much for watching. Well, really hope you enjoyed. Wait a second, we forgot. Uh, that's true. We forgot one thing here. They did. Since it's Joel's birthday, they brought me a drink, and, <laughs> and I'm definitely looking forward to trying it. So it looks like the ultimate kind of summer and crisp, bubbly. She sells seashells. That's what it's called. She sells seashells. <laughs> that I just say that with a lot of intention. So let's give it a go here. Oh yeah, it's kind of like a kind of like an orangey champagne sparkling wine fr spritzer. Very fresh. I think this is like they have a little patio here. Let's like a drink on a patio on a summer day while having that frickin' mango and black currant sorbet. That rhyme. So, hey, there that rhymes. Everybody, hope you have a lovely day. Still rhyming. Uh, until next time, you know what I'm going to say. So stay happy, healthy, hungry, because that's the way. Hope you have a lovely day. I think I already said that, but until next time, everybody, enough of my rhyme. <laughs> you know what to do. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. See if I cease. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop talking. Thank you everybody. Huge thanks to everybody here. Great, great location. Had so much fun. North Vancouver, seafood, seaside provisions. Thank you very much. Until next time, happy birthday to me and love you all. Hope you're healthy.